Israel's move to backdate the legalization of thousands of settler homes in the West Bank has proved contentious. The United Nations Middle East envoy said the law crossed a very thick red line, while prominent Israeli human rights groups are planning to challenge the law in the Supreme Court. But this Israeli spoke out in favour of the motion. Both sides benefit, actually. The side who owns the land but cannot fulfil its presence on it receives a respectable amount of money and can build somewhere else. And the side who already lives there won't have to dismantle his life's achievement. It's common in many places worldwide. And now the decision has been made, it sounds like a good and worthy thing. Israeli politicians claim Israel has a right over its fatherland that they say cannot be denied. Palestinians don't share the view. Having the legislation for settlements means that Palestinians will live in ghettos and apartheid areas, said this man. In other words, suffocating Palestinians. These areas are, according to all international norms, known as pure Palestinian lands for the future Palestinian state. Even Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reportedly expressed concerns the law could invite international legal actions against Israel. However, he succumbed to pressure from within the ruling coalition and eventually allowed it to pass.